Hey guys, Diego Reynoso. Um, happy week two. Hope every, hope everyone's trucking along just fine. Um, I know everyone has work and other things that we have to deal with on a weekly basis, but hope everything's going well for everyone. Um, for the prompt this week, um, it shows that we have a colleague who is struggling um, on a weekly quiz, one specifically um, that her students aren't understanding, and she's asking for some advice. Um, just some things to hit on. First is that I think it's great that I have a colleague that I could confide in and learn from and get advice from. We could bounce ideas off of each other um, and that we feel comfortable doing so. Um, it does sound like her group of students uh, does fairly well in the classroom based off her feeling defeated off of one quiz. Um, sounds like they usually do a pretty good job, so she's a little confused as to why they might be struggling on this one. Not sure on what age group this is or what grade. Um, I think that kind of helps us decipher on different strategies that and tools and materials that we can use in order to help out the students. Um, depending on their age group, whether elementary, middle school, high school. Um, and since everyone sounds like, um, based off last week's discussion, the majority of the people in our in our class here work in the school system um, or have been around the school system before, so we all know that there's no perfect way to go about it. Um, so I think that there's a bunch of different ways that, that we could help uh, Andrea out. Um, and then the last thing that she said was that she set up a lab activity, which I think is awesome for um, the students to be able to collaborate together and learn from one another. One thing I noticed is that it seems um, that the group of students could just be burnt out in some way, possibly. It's based off the amount of information that we were given. Um, have Andrea, have you thought of possibly changing uh, your teaching style or utilizing other teaching methods? Mm -hmm. um, sometimes kids could be, be, could be uninterested or get caught up in a routine and sometimes kind of just go through the motions So sometimes switching up your teaching style or doing something exciting that you haven't done before could spark a little bit of energy for the students to be a little more engaged in the activity and possibly being able to learn the words better. Um, just a thought and opinion. Uh, I wonder if the students are burnt out. Um, you don't really know, you know, if we're in the middle of, of a semester and beginning how overwhelmed they are. Um, or if everything's going well outside of the classroom too, um, obviously that plays a key factor, what's going on at home, your social life, and again, that goes hand in hand with what age group you're dealing with, what grade level you're dealing with, um, because the social, um, anxieties vary, um, at every age group and, uh, school level or grade level, I apologize, um, so I feel like, uh, you could possibly dig in a little bit more in that aspect on trying to see and make sure that all your students are comfortable and doing fine outside of the classroom um, and building that relationship early on so that there's a level of trust amongst uh, you and the students. Uh, maybe you could try um, doing some individual work with the vocab words um, with specific definitions um, and meanings in order to uh, have them implement them into sentences um, by themselves at first, um, creating an environment to where it's okay to fail and learn from your mistakes. Um, sometimes kids are just afraid of failure, um, so they're scared to take risks or even ask questions. Um, so I feel like creating that environment early on would help them be um, more expressive on on where they stand in the classroom. That could be something um, that you could utilize with your students. Um, and then being able to do group work, I feel like a lot of times collaborating with colleagues, friends um, in the classroom and the workplace uh, definitely helps me learn personally and it could help out with your students as well um, on finding a solution for this issue. All right, guys.
Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good night.